E eu... É, você... Gets the... Yeah, you like that one? I know. It hit me in the middle of it like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we could use this. Yes, brother. Hey, hello. Yeah. So I have a few questions just to get something straight. Right. Okay. Do you believe in God? Yes. You believe in one God? Yes. Do you believe in his prophets? Yes. Do you believe in equality? Yes. Of course. Okay. In Islam, there are five principles, which is based upon Salah, which is the prayers, the five prayers a day. Mm -hmm. Zakat, Zakat, which is to give on a yearly basis to give back charity mm -hmm. fasting ramadan hajj yeah. hajj and um oh my god what's the fifth one salah zakah siyah uh, and the shahada which is the first one sorry shahada which is i believe and i witness that there is no god other than allah and mm -hmm. Muhammad, his prophet and his messenger. Right. That's the shahada, which is, um, means that you just announced your um, Islamic, or Islam. Right, your, your, your allegiance. Yeah, your allegiance. That's yeah. The way. yeah. Right, so that's, that's the way that, that it's done with, you know, um, mm -hmm. that Islamic ideal. Right, that religion, those those five principles are are, are what make um, you restricted to, to that religion. Right? Yeah. Like you're not gonna hear somebody else in another religion say that they're gonna do that, but you know, for example, the Nazarites had their vows that they took. Mm -hmm. Which is the same the same concept. Okay, yeah. My yeah. friend here is asking you still what religion are you? Yeah, well, we well we would say that we're Sufi. Sufi, man, I for Jani Sufi. Okay. Um, if we're gonna say if we're gonna say religion, and and then if we if we say Islam, we mean I self law and master. We mean Allah and man are one. There's no separation between Allah and man. No, that's not what Islam means. I'm sorry. Islam means peace. No, for, well, that's, that's what I'm saying. For, for where, where you're at, that's not where, what Islam means. To Moors, Islam is a science. It's not a religion. For Moors, Islam is a science of, of mastering yourself. Okay. You having a relationship with the creator yourself. Because even the prophets say that greater people are going to be coming behind them to do greater work than they did. The prophet Muhammad didn't say that. Well, Yahshua said that. Jesus said that. And then Muhammad on his deathbed said that I have... Uh, I have given you the full religion. Look at, in Arabic, there's, the translation is a little different. Right. But it says that yeah. I have completed this religion upon you and everything after I leave shall be found in the holy book. Right. Right. And, and, then, and the, then there's a... And then there's... And, right, but he... But if if... Him, him making reference to, to, for example, um, the holy book, right? Mm -hmm. If he's saying the holy book, but he's not saying the Quran, then that leaves, that leaves room. Because you're not going to get everything from one place for real. 
said in Arabic, "Fi al Quran al Karim," which is the whole Quran. You're not going to get everything from one place. You're there. You're back. Yeah. You hear me? All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so when when you're relating um, Islam and Muhammad and Allah, that's relative to your version. Nothing's wrong with it. We give honors to Prophet Muhammad. You know, what I mean, I can go on the bookshelf. I could pull the Quran out right now. It's not like we don't we don't recognize it. We recognize it. We're just saying that there was things that were needed relative to our salvation that was beyond religion. Because okay. we because because we were coming from a place of of being mentally enslaved, where that we lost our nationality. Yeah, you would need something to help your salvation, but that does not require creating a new religion. And no, but no, no, nobody. Like I said, nobody created a religion. There's no, there's no creating of anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, we just we might have a few different um, understanding for the translation of the word religion. Because you see, Sufi, Sufiya, or Shia, or Sunnah, we call them madhab, which, which is a path, a pathway or something. See, this, this still the translation is different. Deen, your Deen is Islam or Christianity or Judaism. Your pathway or what you believe in later on is either you follow the Sunni or you follow the Shia or you follow the Sufi. Right. Muhammad was not a Sufi, I'm sorry to tell you. Prophet Muhammad was Sunni. Sunnat Allah wa Rasuluh. Sunnat Allah. Yeah, because and, because and like I and, and, and like we're saying, that that's that's based on your teachings, which nothing's wrong with that. I'm not in in dispute of anything that you're saying with regard to your um your your idea of what your religion is. You have that right. But I also have that right. And it's and it's custom that when we as Moors or quote unquote black people start expressing our right, people don't want to hear it or they got a problem with it or you know what I mean um it's not the right thing or well why are you doing that? And you know when you know if we go to anybody, you have a problem with love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice? Mm, no, no, any religion. You got a problem with love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice? No, not really. I, I think I would want that. All right, cool. So we should be able to get along then because that's what our principles are about. That's why we don't talk religion. Because as soon as religion comes up, this is what happens. Because everybody wants to prove that their religion is something more than somebody else's. Opposed to just accepting everybody everybody's religion for what they say it is oh no sir i respect you and i understand you completely in fact in islam it says you have your beliefs and i have my beliefs and it is my right exactly to respect exactly you. and i'm not trying to prove you wrong or have a dispute either in fact i'm just saying what i right. know and you are saying what you know right and again, and again, the, 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 the conversation that we're having, it's not necessarily for you. It's for people who are going to watch this later. Yes. Right? Like we have, we have our interaction based on us being on here. And we're having a conversation. I'm learning from you. You're learning from me. But beyond that, there's, there's more happening beyond that. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going from, I'm looking at this from the perspective of you're a national of a nation and I'm a national of a nation. 
Yes. And whatever your religion is, whatever my religion is, is like our color of underwear. Doesn't have anything to do with anything. Okay. It's personal. Yes. If we want to discuss it, yeah, we can. No problem. You know what I mean? We can bring out our holy books and we can, you know, go through all of our literature and we'll come to one conclusion at the end. That damn, all these are, both of our prophets were saying the same thing. Okay. Both of our prophets were, were leading us in the direction of being a better individual on this earth. Yes. You know, the t d dealing people with, with love, being truthful, being honest, you know, being for peace, not destruction. Yes. You know, that's not, exactly. not, not thinking that you're high and mighty because you know something when somebody else who doesn't know anything doesn't, you know, doesn't have. You no don't want freedom for everybody. Mighty, fact, then if man knows you know? something that someone else has not, you know? it is his duty to inform that person. Exactly. Exactly. You know, because we, you know, from, from the historical mm -hmm. perspective, when we study the history of the Moors, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam existed when the Moors were ruling Europe. When the Moors were ruling for 700 years, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism were, were side by side by side. And anybody could go to anyone. Okay. Because all of them, all of them are one. All of them are one thing. What happened? Something happened. Something happened that made Christianity, Judaism, and Islam be three separate things. History happened. Because, because, because at one time, all of them were one. And nothing's changed in them. All of them are still the same thing. So how come they're not one still? Because people came in and caused confusion to make them separate things when all of them are one. All of them have a prophet that they recognize. All the prophets are saying the exact same message. Like they're saying the exact same thing, just in a different way. All of them say that there's a book for them for, that they brought for the people. There's a holy book of some kind. Right, mm -hmm. you know that's 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 unity. That's unity See, among yes. the, the, the whole entire between, world. The difference between the main religions right now are very minor. For example, between Christianity and between Islam, for is the drinking of alcohol, for example, or the eating of pig meat, or right. Uh, in fact, other than that, if you look, like I live in near the Vatican, like I am right now 100 meters away from the Vatican. Yeah. And I see the priests and the people who live in the Vatican and the sisters who do not drink alcohol. They do not drink even wine, even though they say wine is considered to be the blood of Jesus, but they do not right. drink wine. They do not have premarital sex. They are very... Um, they're very um, self uh, disciplined, disciplined yeah, let's yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. And these are also the things that we agree upon in right. all different religions as well. Right. But it is very minor. For example, you know, halal meat. We mm -hmm. kill the in the halal way. But it's also okay for me to eat Jewish meat because yeah. it's the same way. They kill it, the Jewish the same. Kill Yeah, the, the, the idea is the same. The idea is the same, exactly. Yeah. Right? So so now when 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 you look at those things, those are the things that are supposed to unify unify the religions. If there's yes. parallels yes, in indeed. in all the religions, right? The parallels are what's supposed to unify the religions. That's the unifying factor. So that there's no war on no war on the, in the world. It's real easy. It's not even, it's not, it's not rocket science. We find the parallels and we agree on the parallels.
you know? Right? Mm-hmm. For what for example, like what, what what we're doing right now, there's there's um some there's some Muslims who they wouldn't make it this far in a conversation with, with Moors just because of us saying Prophet Noble Drew Ali and us saying um, um, Allah and, you know, why are we calling him a prophet? Why do we have a Quran? There's only one Quran and all this because they're looking at it like we're a separate thing. We're not separate. You know, if you want to say it, we're Islamic. But we're not the mundane or... Um, um, yeah, you're you're Islamic, but you're not Sunni. You're Sufi. Yeah, I, under, I understood that. Right, was, right. Yes, and then Suf, Sufia goes beyond Moors. I believe there are other ethnic, oh, yeah, ethnicities. Sure. Ethnicities. Sure. Yeah, if in um in Iraq there's Sufia. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. Lebanon no, no. there's Sufia. Yeah. By huge amounts. Yeah, yeah. And I believe that Sufia, Sufi was also before uh, your uh, noble uh, Jurali. Most definite. Yeah, because it has existed as well, Sufia, mm-hmm. and I believe how um, Shia Shia deals with um, extraterrestrial power, like they deal with magic as well. Mm-hmm. They call it jinn and they call for um, demons. And um, I, I have not studied Sufia that much, so I cannot speak on it. But I just know that Shia has different beliefs as well. Mm. Like, but the thing is, the beliefs, the different, the differences are minor, as I said. Yeah. For example, the way that they pray. For example, Sunnah, they pray with their hands to their sides. Shia prays with their hands on their chest. Mm. Mm. See, it's minor, but right. then it's still right. Yeah, that's the thing. But um, important is if someone would like to know exactly what go to for the when this first came out and the essence of. You see, before it has been divided, when it was still one, when it was united, you want the united part, so you look for your, the united. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, you're you're back now. You're back now. Yeah, they were playing with your stream for a bit. Yeah, sorry, I said um, I was talking about how if you would like to know uh, the united religions and everything, you would go dig the roots of it and look right. for it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. For, yes, exactly. And for example, that you would want to see something that has not been tampered with. And mm-hmm. for me, the first idea that comes to my mind would be the Quran, because in the Quran it has never changed, and it it is still the same, ever since one thousand four hundred years ago. Right. So I would go and I would study the Quran. But not only that, I would also study the translation of the Quran and mm-hmm. I would see what this uh, verse means or what this chapter means. Right. And then I would find all of the answers over there, honestly, as well. Right. And then once I understand that, I will see that every other madhab, Sunni, Shi'i, Sufi, they're un- uncalled for, let's say. If I, do you not see how you're Sufi and I'm Sunni there is still a division between us even though we agree on 99% of the things right but we're, but that but what 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 is that what is that 1% division the 1% division is the fact that men came in yes and they could they couldn't they couldn't have this happening right not men like you and I Men like elite men, right? Yeah, you know, so, people in high positions of power, men. So, the answer would be to be beyond, go beyond 
these complications and go beyond these men and go e dig exactly roots. exactly and the only way that and the only way we can do that is by us dealing with each other or dealing with ourselves right more importantly right you know your relationship with muhammad opposed to your relationship with your imam and with muhammad or my relationship with some sheik and allah make that connection directly because that's the only way you're going to get your message that you're supposed to get because you have your own message that you're supposed to get we all have the same message that we were supposed to receive but the the in or in order to if 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 everybody was going to receive the same message then everybody would be this be the same and we're all too different for all of us to receive the same message okay so there's a message that before you leave here in this plane you're going to get that when when you're on your deathbed you're going to be having revelations mm -hmm. just like muhammad did because you have a per, you, just as personal as your relationship is to um Muhammad's message it should be like that for for your message that Allah has for you okay. because you're you you might be there, there's a saying there's a saying that um um walking in the footsteps of Jesus and the reality was that it was your footsteps and you were carrying Jesus so you have your own relationship with Allah and yes. once your heart is pure Allah will speak to you. Once your heart is pure, you will receive that message. And once you receive that message, it's about embracing the message because it came from Allah and not being um um judgmental about it because well, you know, the imam said or you know, the Quran said or the the whatever said forget what that said what did, what did you say what's your heart say and it's a place where where the elite don't want us to go they don't want us to see that we are one with allah they want us to think that there's always a middleman between us and and allah okay. and then most of them are not letting the the real middleman be the middleman they want to take that position of being the middleman the leaders the religious leaders understood you know, and that, and that's that's you know an an aspect of the sufi teachings that man and allah are one and the same there's no separation between man and allah the same relationship that jesus had with god anybody could have because why would i why would i be conscious of such a divine force and not be able to interact with it it's useless knowing that there's a god called allah but i don't i can't have any interaction with it because i'm not worthy or whatever or i'm not allowed to talk talk to allah only only muhammad could do that i just have to read what muhammad got from allah that's it allah could be talking to you while you're reading that stuff and you're missing the message that allah has for you
not that that's wrong, not that, you know what I mean, um, you shouldn't read your Quran daily or whatever, but there's also other places, there's other ways that information gets to us. Yes, then that comes to you when you're in a state of mindfulness, when yes. you are when you are in peace within yourself and exactly you you you're taking your present in this moment you right. see you know, a few years ago uh, in ramadan in the in laylatul qadr in ramadan the most holy night of the month mm. my mother my mother was praying in three in the morning praying and reading the quran she said that she felt that her soul and she closed her eyes and she felt that her soul was in a white space mm -hmm. and that she was very afraid. She was scared. Her heart started beating very fast, light in front of her that she saw. And then the light said, pray, pray, dua, you know, dua, you know, dua, what, what dua means. It means um, not just pray, but ask. Yeah. Ask for God. Ask mm -hmm. something from God. Edai. The light said, Edai. And she made her prayer. I remember she said, um, please God, keep my son safe. Because she was very mm -hmm. about me. Right. But you see, that was her being present. And she was very, very it's about your belief how much you believe when you believe in something you can make it happen that is the law of attraction what people call it nowadays but it's more than just a yeah. law of attraction right it's in your inner it's your soul we have a soul our energy once you are mindful and you are aware of yourself and you're aware you can reach levels that you've never believed existed before exactly i think you're a sufi you're, you're talking you're talking real sufi right now i'm not talking sufi honestly <laughs> i'm just talking myself <laughs> it's not only perhaps but i i don't this is something you know that is just this is, this is, the, it's always the, been what what I'm getting at, what I'm what uh, what I'm getting at is that one, one who is. it's it's all one, it's all one. They want to keep they want to keep you separated, right? It's it's not a problem be being Shiite or Sunni and then being Sufi as well. It's, that's not a problem, brother. You know what I believe in. You see, some people say. If you are not Muslim or Christian, you will go to hell after you die. Right. I don't right. believe in that. For sure. You can't. There, there is in the hadith, in the speeches of the Prophet, والسلام, he was telling a story. A, a Jewish woman. And then he was telling a story of how this Jewish woman had lived a very sad life. She did not know herself. Mm -hmm. And then, right as she was about to die, she, there was a cat. There was a cat in her uh, area that she would feed every day. She would feed this animal and give her food and water. Good. Mm. And because of that deed, God sent her to heaven. Mm -hmm. after she died just as there was a muslim who tortured an animal who tortured this animal and could not let it live in peace and therefore that he has not been rewarded with heaven but he has been sent to hell mm -hmm. there is another story of a man who has this is a true story that the prophet also talked about and it's also i believe available in the quran of this man who um, has lived a horrible life. He has been a bad, terrible person in his life. Okay? And um, he came to a time where he's seeking forgiveness. He feels 
like he's not settled with himself and he's seeking for forgiveness. He goes to the prophet and he tells him, prophet, I seek for forgiveness. I, I cannot live in my village anymore because where he lived, his village was filled with horrible people. They would rape, they would kill, they would torment. Mm -hmm. And he could not live there anymore. He said, I want to change my life. So what the prophet said to him, emigrate, go to another place. This is how immigration started thousands of years ago. Mm. He said, go emigrate to this other village further away. And then once you reach there, you shall live a peaceful life. The man had to go through a journey in the desert to reach this other village. Unfortunately, throughout, he was sick. And throughout his journey, he could not finish arriving to the next village. Mm. So he died. He died on his journey. And then so the angels, there's the angel of death. Two of them, we say the angel of good on your right shoulder and the angel of bad on your left shoulder, which writes mm. your good deeds and writes you down your bad deeds. Yeah. These two angels went up to God and said, oh God, this person has been seeking for forgiveness and he has been on his journey for righteousness to this other village. Yet he died halfway there and we don't know whether to give him the, let's say, send him to heaven or send him to hell. And then what God said was measure distance that this man has traveled from his old village to, his, uh, to this new village. And see where which is closer. Has he went over halfway through to the other good village, or is he still near his old bad village? When the angels came down back to measure the distance, they say that God has shortened his um, distance mm. to to the good village and pushed him further away from that village why because his intentions were pure he was seeking for righteousness and when you right. seek for righteousness god shall deliver it to you a holy the holy spirit shall deliver deliver righteousness to you you can say that or you can also say you shall deliver righteousness to your own self why because you believe deeply in yourself and you believe that you want to do right in your life right. and therefore as strong as your belief gets, that's what you make it happen. And so God shortened the distance with him to the good village and he ended up going to heaven. He ended up going to the good place because of his intentions. And in Islam, it says, Al-Niyya, um, Al-Niyya Hamshay, which is Al-Niyya is the intentions, the pure intentions of the human mm -hmm. in what he wishes on. And as he was seeking this righteousness, he found it eventually. Yeah. Now, and now see, it's all about. Those... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. No, all I'm saying is it's all about the belief in your head and what you believe in. And mm -hmm. what I meant is the, the, the point of my story is that it doesn't matter. I believe that if you are. It matters to a point, but you see, we are over 6 billion people, perhaps more, in this whole world. Yeah. You cannot deliver this message to everyone all over the world. There are villages in Africa that have never seen electricity so far. They don't know right. what religions are. They are. There has been villages in Africa where they say we are Muslim, but they, pre they perform the prayers wrong. They, they do not know how to recite the Quran. Yeah, but all of that does not mean that they are bad, bad people. You see, it's their intention. Right, right. Intentions. Whether if the woman believe in Christianity or Islam, or pure, she did good in her life, mm -hmm. and therefore she shall be rewarded for it. You right. see, in Judgment Day, at the Judgment Day, you will have a book, two books, the angels that wrote your good deeds and your bad deeds. And those are going to be weighted. You're going to be weighed. 
whether your good deeds were outweigh or heavier than your bad deeds, you will go to the good place. If your bad deeds in life, if you have done more bad than good, you will go to the bad place. And listen so, to this in Islam. In Islam, God says, mm -hmm. do wrong and it shall be accounted for as one wrong. Do good and it shall be counted for as seven good deeds. Right. So you do one bad thing, it's one in your book. Thing, it's multiplied seven times. Right. Good deed. Right. That's the beauty of it. That's how forgiving Allah is. And Allah but says, no matter what you've done in life, seek mercy and you shall find it. Right. Now, with, with, um, with regard to the, um, the belief in our teachings, belief is the lowest ladder. And based on what you just expressed, it shows that you don't believe those things, those stories that you, you just talked about. You know those. You know what the lesson is. You've received the message. So at that point, it's not belief anymore. It's not faith anymore. Now, now you are the message. Because, because in receiving the message and getting the point and the point being made to you and you receiving that message that you were supposed to get, you can now present, just like you did, your testimony because of the truth that you found in it. So I would only present it the way that I have understood it and I would only present it and give credits to how I've been thought of it. Exactly. I would say, I would give all of the credits to Allah and I would give all credits to his holy book, the Quran, and everything I've learned from it. Exactly. Because because of because of of the um because truth keeps you sincere. Mm -hmm. Truth I keeps understand. You, yeah, truth I... keeps you not not you know um compromising. So noble Drew Ali had the same beliefs and then he spread this message even further upon his people. You see, this I accept and I understand. Right. The only thing, the only thing is um, that kind of makes me sad, honestly, is how it has still been arrived, like the message has been sent in the correct manner, but there is still a division. Mm -hmm. It still divides yes. of people. You know? Yes. That's what's sad. But again, it's because... But, but again, it's, bec it's because of, of the, the, the conditioning of what we, we've been told religion is, right? So we get into our little boxes when religion is not about being in a box. Religion is about really accepting everybody's position. Once it's in line with righteousness, once it's in line with truth, once it's in line with the great God of the universe, there should be no disagreements. You know, so for example, like with 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 um, you and I's conversation, it's not a it's not a religious conversation really. It's a life conversation. You're yeah. telling me about about the lessons that you've learned in your life. You know what I mean? I'm telling you about the lessons that I learned in my life. You might have had a different name of an entity that showed you the way, but we both got led down that same path. Mm -hmm. We both received from our prophets through their books that came from Allah that so they, there's a relative there there's a there, there there's a there's a unison here. So why shall we not unite and accept 
history as it is and be one, which is Islam. Brother, no that's... Sunni, no Sunnah, no Shia. Let all of these different, you see, not Catholic, not... Um, like there's Catholic and there's something else also in Christianity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Why take all of these names apart and just call it the one Islam, which is Al-Islam, Al-Wahid, the peace, the one peace. religion. Which again, when we, when we said, you know, what are our principles? One of our principles is peace. Yeah. So we can take that as, we can take that as English or we can take that as Arabic. Yeah. So if we take you know, that as Arabic, then, then you're right in line with our stuff and we're right in line with your stuff. And we're really, we're really family with a difference of opinion that doesn't need to be pulling out the scimitars because we have a, dis a, a difference of opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, what, this is what we have to get. This is the message we, you and I, and anybody who's on this live stream has to get to the other people. Because we already know, we already know this. If you're going to tell me about um, law of attraction, then you have to know about law of correspondence. You have to know about law of gender. You have to know about the law of mentalism. You have to know about the law of cause and effect. You have to know about all, all these things. If we're going to say um, law of attraction, or we're going to speak about parables, or we're going to speak about... think about it is not a law. If you think about it, it has always been there, always been present, except that uh, the man has brought this in a different way and called it his own law, like Kepler's law or whoever. He named right. it after himself. Yeah. And this law has always existed. It has been presented in different ways. Right, and right. The but, that, but, 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 it's, but the, the, fact that, the fact that it's always existed is why it's, it's law. It's not law because of, you know, um, the courts or a judge or whatever. It's law. It's law because it's the universal concept. Yeah. This is as far as our teachings. So when I when I say, when we say, um, um, law. In terms of the court and all that stuff, we would call that jurisprudence. We wouldn't call that law. We would call that jurisprudence. And law is the things like nature is law, and yeah. and the universe is law. Astrology is law. Like those things are law. Mm -hmm. The stuff that goes on in the court is jurisprudence. Two two different two different things, right? But I get I get what what you're saying about about it being something that is and has always been. It's not a new concept. And that's what you were talking about earlier about us going back to the origin. Because when we go back to the origin, just like you were saying um, um, in the parable with the angels weighing the good deeds against the bad deeds, in our, in our, um, um, right? Can you, repeat that? Can you please repeat that? The, the, the idea of the angel yeah. weighing the good and the bad deeds, right? In our, in our lessons, the weighing of the good and the bad deeds is weighing the heart against the feather. So the, the heart has to be as light as a feather in order for you to get to heaven. And if the feather is heavier than the heart, then then you go to hell. And the way that you keep the heart as light as the feather is by keeping your deeds pure and keeping your deeds good. Because the more you do good deeds, the lighter your heart's going to be. Which is going back to the thing that you're saying with with the the. Um, the good deed being worth seven and the bad deed being worth one.
you know? There's parallels in everything. All we have to do is find those parallels and then those are the things that we base our unity on, not the things that we disagree about. Yeah. If this is really about love and truth and peace and freedom and justice for all, then we don't need to talk about the, the disagreeable things. We will talk about the things that, that we can relate to. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Disagreeing is the cause of all failures. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, because we because of course. No, go ahead. It's all about communication and understanding and giving chance. This is why yeah. I asked yeah. you because to we, you know, because we know the the um again. So I could we know that, have this that conversation. People and are especially especially people yeah. like we would say people from the east. Yeah, no, I uh, that's what I said, yeah. Are easier yeah. to talk to and relay the message of what Noble Jwali brought than it is for people who look yeah. just like me. So this is this was a this was a a, a refreshing conversation. Because Noble Jwali told us that our brothers from the East are actually going to be the ones to help save us. Now, that might... That, yeah, right? Because we all, have, we all have a holy covenant. Because all of us are Asiatic people. So we're going to look out for each other, especially if we're... Of course, we're, we're all um, each other. Um, grounded in the same... Um, religious ideals. There definitely shouldn't be any separation. Right, right. Yes, yes. Societal, whether it's societal, whether it's whether it's economic, you know, whether it's spiritual, whatever, you know. But this is this is what what it's Not about. Not only in religious, but you even know? in society. Um, even um, us us making. Others who don't understand what it's about when they see a more, you know, they might see a brother and, you know, they would see his fez and automatically they connect it to Islamic, you know? So, yeah, yeah, you know, and then, and then that's something now that, now that opens up a whole different thing. You know, why have they kept that from you? Yes, to be honest, before you know, before because they kept week, because they, because because they kept it from us too. Hasn't discovered it yet. True that that too, that too, right? And now that it's discovered, you know, it, it opens up. Perhaps it opens it, up more perhaps, learning. It hasn't been kept away. Perhaps it was only me that hasn't discovered it yet. You know, but it was good building with you, brother. Yeah, yeah, and if, and if any questions come up, feel free to send me a message or something if, if anything comes up or whatever. But I mean, I think you should be all right because right. you, you, um, you, um, it was very good chatting with you. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Right, of course. I, I Islam. know, Salam, I know exactly brother. Thank what you. I, um, look for in life and what I believe and what right but then you got some moors they didn't want to join in the thing they're going to be on on the page leaving damn comments so there it is moors unity is strength and that should be proof that we know what we're talking about Right, we know exactly what we're talking about. You know, yeah, they were playing with it for a little bit. You know, he's in, he's in the beast. <laughs> he said, "You can see the Vatican." <laughs> I was like, "Shit, you're in the belly right now. <laughs> you're in the belly. You're one of the seven heads and all that stuff. You can see it right over here." 
That was a good one. Peace to the brother. You know, and again, it just shows, it just shows that everybody knows and they're willing to accept this. What is wrong with our people? What's wrong with our people? You know, it started off a little rocky, but you know what I mean? We got through the differences. And he came to a realization. He didn't hear about Moors ago before, some weeks ago or some days ago or whatever. And then now he's he's interested. So what's wrong with our people? What's wrong with their brain? Clearly something's wrong with their brain. That was a good one. That was a good one. Peace and love to all the Moors worldwide. Anywhere you're at. Once you know the truth about your nationality and birthrights, honors to you for knowing. Supreme honors to you for knowing. Well, that wizard got him. <laughs> yep. The curse is real. Yeah, when I saw the We Shall Overcome singing yesterday, I was like, what the hell? Am I watching right now in 2020? This, this is the Truman Show. It's not real. It's not real. The Truman Show all over again. Because people are tripping. We shall overcome in 2020. What are you talking about? We shall. <laughs> <laughs> we shall overcome <laughs> 2020 we're killing it slap to all the brothers <laughs> peace and love to all make sure you don't get played out there with these damn Package selling, sell you everything. Oh, yeah. I wanted to mention this too. Make sure you go look up um, assist in the Black's Law Dictionary. Look up assist and then read the Holy Covenant. And then look up assist again and then read the Holy Covenant. And that should let you know which Moors are real and which Moors are all about getting in your pockets and robbing you. So just make sure you look up assist in Black's Law Dictionary. Assist is a law term, by the way. Assist is a law term. Peace and love to all the Moors. Honors to all the mothers everywhere. Supreme honors. Honors to the Prophet, Noble Juali. And we give praise. Praise is due. Praise is due to Allah for putting us in a place. It might be in fifth too. We're putting us, it should be right above assistant. It's kind of hiding. I don't know. I thought I saw, that's what I thought too. And then it just popped up above assistant. Like that's what I thought too. That's the first thing I saw when I when I got there. Oh, assistant. Where's oh, there's assist. Why is it hiding? How come it looks like it's hiding in here? Well, I don't know. Maybe it was just me. But honors to Allah for putting us in this place where we could um have these little builds. People learn something, people see something, people, you know, whatever. But today was a good one. Today was a good one. It was um it was interesting, very interesting. This makes me question our people more. How come this little pale Arab guy just accepted the stuff? He's not even from here. He's across the planet. Seen something or heard something or whatever like that, and then all of a sudden. 
He's enlightened by the Moors? Shit. You must be doing something right, Moors. So I understand all you Moors out there, active, waking up, spreading the word, spreading the light. Keep doing the work more. It's working. Whatever you're doing, that adhering to the principles and honoring the Prophet Noble Juwali is working. Peace and love to all the Moors. Islam.